On June 17th of this year, the long-awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake was released on Steam, which marked six months after it initially arrived to the PC market via the Epic Game Store. While the game has not been on the PC for a full year yet, the modding community has been hard at work experimenting and finding new ways to play the game. So in this video, I will go over 7 types of mods you just might want to try out for your next playthrough. Kicking off the list, we are first going to look at the mods that offer a more clean and immersive experience while replaying the game. These type of mods work by performing actions such as removing the HUD entirely, erasing their credits from cinematics, and hiding your damage and healing indicators during battle. Next on the list is a sort of mods for when you're having issues running the game due to poor optimization or simply trying to play it on a potato PC. These performance mods are very handy and could be just what fixes many issues for you including stutters and FPS drops. As a heads up, installing these mods do require a few more steps than some of the other ones on this list and may also need some tinkering on your end to find the perfect game settings for your computer. A very common type of mod you'll see, and usually one of the first released in almost any game, is the process of changing a character's skin, clothes, colors, and weapons. Using these mods opens up the game to suit your taste, which can result anywhere from a simple color or weapon change to altering a character's full attire to turn him into a professional cosplayer. The soundtrack of Final Fantasy VII Remake is exceptionally well done. That being said, if you want to mix up the atmosphere of different areas, then the BGM replacement mods are very useful. My personal favorite of these mods are the ones that bring back the soundtrack of the original Fallen Fantasy VII for that nice boost of nostalgia. To get the most out of the graphical side of Fallen Fantasy VII Remake, then the reshade mods are the go-to. These mods offer the ability to customize the game's appearance as much as you like by altering lighting, sharpness, colors, and many more options. The first thing you will need to get started with these mods is head over to reshade.me, so you can download the reshade add-on, then just head over to nexusmods.com to find a template to start with. While using costume and weapon mods is great and all, the way to take them further and really break the rules of the game are the mods that focus on swapping characters around and the ones that bring models from outside of Final Fantasy VII into the game. Using these types of mods easily opens up scenarios that were previously impossible and quite a few that are simply hilarious. Lastly, but certainly not least, are the mods that need to be talked about whenever you make this kind of list in any game. And those of course are the mods that are centered around sexiness and nudity. Now, one could argue these mods should be included with the costume mods or even the model swap mods, but in reality, they truly deserve a spot of their own since they're often more desired than any of the others. These mods are all about seeing more of your favorite characters while delivering top tier fan service, so enjoy them. For installing any of these mods, you can find instructions on each page over at nexusmods.com. Links to every mod used in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Also, big shoutouts goes to the modding community and their hard work, so make sure to go give them some love whenever you download a mod and lend support if you have the means to. With that said, I hope this list gave you some great ideas for mods to try out and if there's any out there that you really enjoy or mods that you are hoping will be created eventually, be sure to let me know down in the comments.